Morning. How's it going? Oh, you had a good morning so far. If you uh, watched yesterday, you'll have uh, done quite well last night because you'll have gone through. You'll have picked up a lot of cheap silvers. In fact, you'll have picked up cheap CSL silvers and sold them for a fortune last night. I vow are you well prepared for the CSL um, SBC? If you didn't, you're probably lazy like me. Um, well, yeah, I hope you did well there. Uh, if not, you know, let's start preparing for the next lot. If you can, you can still carry on doing what we did yesterday in terms of buying a lot of um, uh, cheap silvers for potential SBCs. And uh, we can go from there. But today, what we're going to do is, well, first, we're going to open a few packs that I got from Division Rivals. Played like three games this week, but it's enough to get me some packs. Let's see if we get anything. We're not getting anything out of that. And uh, we're going to look at the uh, preparing in other ways for the future SBCs. Uh, because at the end of the day, these two aren't going to be the last two. And for Bundesliga and the CSL has shown us that you know there's money to be made if you're willing to be patient. And that's what you've got to be, you've got to be patient. I can't bother to wait for these as we get nothing out of this one. Right, last night I, I'm well on my way to completing uh, the CSL uh, now. Well, I, I've not actually uh, completed many of the teams. But I've got more so players for more so teams. Which means I'm going to uh, probably be able to get the CSL done by the end end of a week. So tomorrow, tomorrow or Friday I anticipate having it finished. As we open a rare Electrons pack, player pack, let's see if we can get anything out of this. I don't know about you, I hope your rewards are well. I never get bugger all. I think I've got two walkouts since the start of FIFA. And I've opened up a lot of packs. I mean, I'll just get kind of this. I'm not even checking them. Uh, I think I saw a Bundesliga silver in there. I'll go back to that later, sell that on. But yeah, today we're just really going to look at the bronze pack method. I'm going to show you how I do it uh, and how useful it is for you going forward. I'm going to skip it because I don't even care if it's work out or not. And um, what did we get? We didn't get anything anyway, so it doesn't matter. So I'm just going to chuck these all up on the trade pile. It's a few extra coins at least. Yeah, I take on tradables just to make sure I get more, coin, more um, players for SBCs basically. But anyway, <coughs> since yesterday what I've been doing is stocking up my club. So as you can see, I've got pretty much the same amount of coins. But I've got about 150 more players in my club. And they're a combination of silvers and bronzes. Uh, so, so what I generally do is, I, I do, like everyone else, open up the 400 coin bronze pack and see what comes out. And you've got to check each one, see if it's worth anything. There's no point in playing the animation because there's a lot of there's nothing special coming out. So you can see here, I've got no duplicates, which is nice. So I'm going to check each one. If this rare doesn't sell for more than 700, I'm keeping it. He will come in useful later on. I'm sure of it. We've got a Liverpool player here. He does go, and uh, the cheapest is. 600 so I'm going to sell him for 550 that's paid for the pack and then we've got Eriko Sousa there's not many of him for 200 so he may go so I'm going to put him up so I'll start everything else delete everything else and I keep rinsing and repeating this uh, last night I picked up a lot of uh, CSL players which was nice but from this, I'm also looking to pick up MLS players. I'm looking to pick up Saudi players. Or even some Bundesliga players. Because I know they'll be useful for completing some squads. Like, here we go. 
is a pack here. So this is Paderborn. Paderborn players are usually worth something. So this guy is what, 1500. Let's keep going through. Yeah, 1500 is minimum. So I'm going to sell him for 1200. No, 1300. But I'll pay for my next three bronze bats. Uh, I've got this guy from Denmark. We won't have an SBC for, for Denmark, but it's useful to keep. And this guy, he is Colombian. Again, not going to get anything for Colombia, but he, willing to keep him. Um, he's a duplicate. He doesn't sell for anything. I'm going to shove him up anyway for 200 coins. He might sell. Then we've got um, this guy who is a Spanish... La Liga manager, he again doesn't really sell for more than 200, but he will sell because he's a La Liga manager. So he's going up, and there you go. And that, from that bronze pack, that's about 2,000 coins. So that's 1,600 coin profit. But then what you want to do is anything, oh, we did sell a couple already. So we've already sold uh, a couple of Chinese players and uh, so these are players I've got last night so these two are ones that are pretty useless they don't have any meaning but we had meaning for someone and I got 200 coins for each one you know it's worth doing so once you've uh, gone through all this built up your club you've got thousands of players but you've, then you've got useless players that do nothing for you you can then go on to your upgrades and do a silver upgrade. This is how you get your um, silver players rather than paying thousands and thousands of coins for them. And you just search for your bronze players. I go, do it by going through league by league and just literally putting in players that you're not going to use. So all of these players I'm not going to use. So I'm just shoving them in. Why not? Don't even you know, if you do it from the same league as well. You don't even have to think about getting anybody in the right position, chemistry, anything like that, because it's just going to work. Uh, so, uh, apart from the fact I've done the wrong one, <laughs> that helps. So let's quickly repeat that. It'll take me two minutes. Oh, I don't want to do squad builder. So we'll go back into the club, multi swap, change out to there, change out to bronze, change it to useless league, and then just go through quickly, put them all in. It's slower than last year, to be honest, but it's still fairly quick. Now we've uh, implemented this multi-swap change. So just two more players. And there we go. That should be that. I should be able to complete that. And now I can go back and grab that pack. And see if I've got anything useless, useful in there. So I'm going to here. As I've sold something else. I open up a two players pack. Hopefully, there'll be SPC players in there. Let's skip that. Here we go. So, here we go. We've got uh, Piemonte Calcio, uh, goalkeeper. Uh, so, when uh, the Italian league comes out, when uh, Serie A comes out, this guy will sell for, uh, for a few thousand coins. So it'll save me some money. I won't have to use um, the 82 keeper. I can use this guy. Uh, and, and that's essentially it. That's all I do. Is I build up the club that way. And I rinse and repeat. Sell what sells. Keep what doesn't. And yeah, save yourself a ton of money. As you can see here, I, sound, I sold that Brug, Brugmeier. And I sold the Bundesliga... Um, Australia, Austrian uh, manager so it does work it's worth continuing it's worth trying have a go have fun I'll be back tomorrow
I'll probably have some packs tomorrow from the uh, CSL. Alright, thanks very much. Have a good day. See you there. Bye.